rain and <laughs> unsettled weather, you're really going to like what Michelle Muscatello has to say. <laughs> uh, you know, and this is it, guys. This is the last full day of summer. Oh, right. gosh. Double whammy, Michelle. Go. Thanks. Well, kind of good. <laughs> Let's go ahead. We'll just get to the details here for you because it is a pretty ugly weather pattern for you setting up here over the next five to seven days. We've got a live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar. You know, it's not a soaking rain, but we do see scattered showers. We've had them since the overnight hours, parts of uh, 195 through uh, New Bedford and Fall River getting wet, Westport as well with some showers this morning, Tiverton and parts of Portsmouth and Middletown with some scattered showers out there as well. As you travel to the West Bay, especially over uh, uh, Parts of Kent County, South County, a little bit of a lull right now. You still have some low clouds, fog, and mist. But yeah, the autumn season officially begins with the equinox tomorrow morning, 5.04 in the morning. And there's not going to be a dramatic change from today to tomorrow as we take a look at your... Uh, uh, your future cast, but peak foliage and a lot of people love this time of year for doing a little leaf peeping for our area. It's typically late October where we see our peak foliage, but it's late uh, in this month, the next two weeks up in uh, northern New England and early October for parts of the uh, White and Green Mountains, mid-October for the Berkshires here. So uh, a lot of good weather and a lot of uh, good leaf peeping to uh, do here in the coming weeks. Right now, though, we're going to be stuck in a little bit of a, a Soggy pattern, about 64 Smithfield, 68 Providence, 67 Newport, upper 60s and westerly right now. So scattered showers, mid and upper 60s at the bus stop this morning. You definitely want to send your kids out with an umbrella today or a raincoat. As you see here at 8 o'clock in the morning, still these scattered showers. Now, this particular future cast shows a little bit of a lull in the afternoon, and that's certainly possible, maybe even a little brightening. But at any point today, we could see an additional shower fire up. I also like what the future cast shows here for the nighttime and especially tomorrow morning, which is steadier rain filling in through the daytime on Friday, especially by afternoon, and some of it may fall heavy at times. So I do look for a more widespread and heavy rain event for the daytime tomorrow. That even includes the possibility of some localized street and poor drainage flooding, just more nuisance stuff. 73 for the temperature this afternoon in Charlestown. Scattered showers, very muggy. The humidity is going to be running very high over the next five to seven days. Mid 70s, Burrowville. Johnson's at about 73. And the high temperature in Taunton near 76, 75. Seekonk, Middletown at 72. On the bay, poor visibility. We've got the showers off and on today. The areas of fog and low clouds. High tides at 347 in the afternoon. Low tide at about 9 this morning. Seven day future cast. So a uh, pretty soggy pattern here with that widespread rain on Friday, Saturday, still looking at the morning hours is the best chance for some of these scattered showers. And there may still be a break in the action, possibly for Sunday, but a stray shower possible. I think a better chance of showers returning through the day Monday, and we may keep them around off and on for Tuesday and Wednesday morning. And then it looks like we finally break out of this stubborn pattern and get back to some drier.